Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another video here on the YouTube channel. In today's video, it's going to be very, very different to how the content normally goes and I want your guys' opinion on if this is your preferred method of content. What we're going to do is we're going to cut away and we're going to post-com everything and we're going to recap the full of season one. That is correct. The videos haven't done as well as the Wrexham videos of late and I'm gonna try some new content. So this is your big opportunity to let me know how you prefer to see your content as this is a channel for you guys. It is a channel based on getting everyone up the speed so if they watch the Twitch, they knew what was going on. With that being said, PostCon Demo will be here in a second. Run that intro and let's get into it. Into season one, we are post-con Damien here. No webcam because it's going to be a lot of gameplay and talking over. As you can see, the first half of the season, which is highlighted on screen, went very, very well. And our first ever league game in the save was against Bonding Rig Rose, a team that plays five at the back in the fourth division of Scotland. That is correct. They're a team that we did pump numerous times throughout the year. And here were your goals as well. We signed a striker called Comma Life, who we'll do a little piece on a little bit later in the video, and he was in the mix in this highlight, but in the end, Young Vata was the goal scorer. Alfie Stewart found a ball into Jarvis, and as you can see, a great finish for Bonning Rose and uh, Bonning Rig Rose before a staple of the season. A lot of goals from set pieces was the way, and there he is, Danan and Komalaif at the backstick proving ever so dynamic. And they scored a lot of goals from there. Backstick ball, Komalaif hit the post, but it fell to Hilton, a player that played a lot for us this season. There was the first game of the season basically wrapped up until Bonning Rig Rose with their bugger all XG decided to score one from distance to make it a very nervy end. In the end, we won the first game of the season 3-2, and if you have a look through the rest of that, there was a lot of good games to go. The highlight of the first two months was probably this game here against East Fife, where we won a game 8-4 with an XG of over four. That is correct. In a crazy game, which we're going to give you all the goals of, it finished 8-4. 12 goals. This is one that if you watch back on the Twitch, you probably are going to have some fun and look at this game in its entirety because it was madness. In the end, Shields with the ball in the roof, who's fantastic, and he fired home plus Fleming, who we might actually have signed in the next season. I am, of course, changing how we do the content here, so I'm actually midway through season two as I'm filming this. And Comalay for the back stick yet again, proving he is an absolute marvel and fantastic in the lower levels. What we're also going to do is the next episode is going to actually be a breakdown of this 4-4-2, our 4-4-2 tactic. And what we will do is explain how we built it, what roles you need, what sort of players, etc. So if you're keen to see a 4-4-2 breakdown, it will be the next video in this playlist more than likely. And what I'll definitely do is make sure to link it into the description of this video once it is posted. As you can see here, it wasn't all our own way here against East Fife as the goals have been flying in. And East Fife took a lead before I got the boys in at halftime and went bunter. And after going bunter, we decided to go and play. Comma Life on the ball again. Important to have such a dynamic striker as the front two in the lower levels. And after going crazy at halftime, we turned it on and scored four unanswered goals and proved why we were one of the best teams and why we were rated at $1.10 to win the league. As you can see, lots of goals equals a longer bit of this part of the video. But Jacobs with a ball back stick to Comma Life, it was a staple of how we built up throughout the season. Another caller highlight as well, and I feel like in the lower levels, you need to make the most of the physicality you will have from these set pieces. And we finish it off with a penalty, and it was 8-4. You, yes, you, 
Follow me on Twitch. You watch all my content live and, of course, all the VODs for all your viewing needs. The Twitch is the place to go and for funny clips like this. Can you fucking shut up? Pietro Pellegrini is a freak, up. mum. Honestly. Pietro Pellegrini is a freak. On to the midway point of the season. We lost our first game in the league to Peterhead, who were the main protagonist and were chasing us down. At this point, we actually fell into second place in the league and lost top spot, and the board wanted us to get promoted via winning the league. And we actually went down to a C negative after this game, even though we had a pretty good time of it. A great strike from McAllister there, put us one nil down before another ball into the box, which was poorly cleared, a hallmark of the match engine this year. And Ward was left free and we were two nil down. We managed to claw one back really, really, really late, but uh, not something to really write home about. In the end, Young put a ball in a vatter and he was fast becoming the four-star potential player, someone we could rely on with the amount of speed that he had. Other games then went wrong for us as well. As you can see, we lost against Bonning Rig Rose, lost to Elon City, who were predicted to come last and actually just missed out in the playoffs before another one of the crazy games came around against Greenock, who are one of our rivals in the Scottish Cup. They're in the championship, we were in League Two, and we led and looked like we were home and hose before a guy called Mr. Rocco Vada, who was on loan from Celtic, decided to go crazy in the second half and score a hat trick to turn the game on its head. Unfortunately for ourselves in the 94th minute, we were moments away from still getting through 5-4, but with the last rule kick of the game, Vada whipped one in, and Murhead headed home and a late red card to Johnson in extra time saw a green knock with the man advantage knock us out in the Scottish Cup. It wasn't particularly good. We then got to focus on the rest of the season and as you can see here we went on a pretty good run only losing 4-3 and drawing 2-2 in those games moving past. More importantly Peter Head as you can see in their sort of run home choked away the league title and as you can see in April and in May they did not go on a good run at all, not winning any sort of game. And that meant that if you look at last year's league title, we ended up champions by 11 points. But definitely at points throughout the season, we were in second, and it looked very lightly until PD Head started throwing it away that we were going to be in a neck-to-neck -neck title race all the way to the last game of the season where we played them away from home. Mercifully, it was not the case, but let's go in and talk about one player, the player that is currently unhappy here in season two, but please disregard, I have made a change to how we're doing the content and uh, make sure it's more up-to-date moving forward. Mr. Paul Comalay for one player of the year, player's player of the year, and Golden Boot, scoring 33 and 35. A man we signed on a free at a 7.77. He looked fantastic. And, uh, you know, with the 15 pace to 70 acceleration, I think a player like this that is also six foot as well is the perfect sort of player at any lower level side. And without further ado, that is the end of your season recap here at Dumbarton. Now... With that being said, obviously season two was on the screen throughout parts of this video, so make sure you give it a like. I'm going to put here on the end screen the link to the playlist. Now, I know this will be episode three, but if you're watching this back, that will help you to go and watch more of the videos. Moving forward, we get a big game. I'm going to still give you that episode as a big game, but without further ado, from Damo, see you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.